Hello and welcome back to another week of Adoom and Mom Uploads and today we're going to be rebuilding the circle line on NIMBY Rails. This is the third episode in our series of rebuilding the entirety of the London Underground Network. And after that we will go over to the National Rail Network instead. But without further ado, there's been a new update to NIMBY Rails since we last played. Um, instead of the old loading game screen, we now have this, which is amazing I guess. So we're just going to load up. And see what happens, I guess. So currently on our network, we have currently built the Bakerloo line and the central lines. As you can see here, we've got the Bakerloo line going across here into Elephant Castle. And we've got the central line as well, which, which we uploaded two weeks ago. Today, we're going to be working on the circle line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Edgware Road first, I think. Which we have already built. It is currently here. And we've got the current Edgware Road, which is built about here but we've put it a little bit lower just so we can connect the two stations. So what I'm gonna do currently is I'm just gonna just do this, just do something like that, just so it, so you know, works. And basically what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna have one platform up here and another one going down here towards Bayswater. So I'm just gonna add in this one just here as well. So I'm gonna, further down here so I can actually link the two here I'm just gonna have it go like that just straight over to there and then have it curve off and then in but what I might actually do is move this station a little bit higher up so it's not as bad as an angle going in so just move them out a bit and then it's not as bad as going in and we still have that kind of like space to do the main line station when we get around to it as well now what we're just gonna do is just build it out through here towards Bayswater which would be I think it's here but it doesn't really matter we're not going for that 100% preciseness we just want to be as precise as we can be without annoying ourselves and the next one will be Notting Hill Gate, which is right here. As you see, all of the stations are currently lining up with each other, which is actually brilliant. It's nice. So when we, like... Oh, this actually looks kind of nice here. Like, oh, there's just, like, a curved road here. Which kind of, which kind of looks nice, I can't lie. And the next one's High Street Kensington, which, as you can see, is just here. I'm just going to keep it at minus one, just for now. And I'm just going to have it just be as straight as possible like this. Just like that. And then here we have like kind of a split here. So what I'm actually going to do is because next episode is going to be district line. I'm just going to currently like build a bit of it like here. Actually that bit's a bit wrong because it's more like that. Because Earl's Court is here, as you can see on the map. And Glossa Road would hit, be here, and the district line kind of goes around this loop down to here, and then the circle line does indeed curve off here. Just like this. So just kind of make it like this. And in. And then I'm also just going to put in the curve off for Earl's Court as well. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it underneath this road just so it's a little more train friendly. Maybe put that at just slightly better angle. But what I actually forgot to do was actually put in the main station here. Because this road here is Gloucester Road. So I need to add in the station in first. Just put that in. And then... Put this down. And then... Kind of like this. I like curve more. Yeah, it's not amazing, but it's not that bad. And now next one is South Kensington, which is 
just over here. Which isn't bad. We've got two platforms for this station, I believe. I'm not too sure. One for the Piccadilly line and one for the district and circle. So I'm just gonna do this. Just so we can split it out and yeah, it will look a bit nicer. Well, once we get down to the Piccadilly line, then it should look good. We've got South Kensington in now. Next one is Sloan Square, which I believe is here. Yeah, Slow Gardens. So we just put this in here. And I'm just looking kind of like at the angle of this. It needs to be somewhat like here. And now we've got the Victoria Station. So what I'm actually going to do here is drop this down to minus two. And then put it like somewhat here. Because I know the platforms are somewhat here because I've been in Victoria so many times. There's the uncannable amount of times now. So just do something like that. Because every single time I get out of Victoria Station, I do end up exiting from the exit here. Turning it left through onto Buckingham Palace Road. The next one's St. James's Park, which I think is up here. No, no, no. I see I see where the station is. It's just here. So this would be another curve up like this. I don't mind doing this station minus two because there's just no other lines here apart from the circle in the district. So then put it back to minus one because we need Westminster Station. Which I'm going to build something like this, I think. Just so I can add in the Jubilee line at some point. Actually, I'm going to redo that corner. Actually, that first corner actually felt a little bit smoother. That should do a little bit better. And then, yeah, sure. Actually, I'm, I'm not really comfortable with that curve. I, I, I don't... It's just... I'd rather have that steep on there, you know? And we've got embankment, which I'm just going to put across like this. Do is just curve it off slightly like that and then keep it going up to Temple, which should be somewhere around here. I think where it is, the building's here. So just put it like that and then just follow the road like that. This one should be Cannon Street, I believe. That's Black Rise. And then we're just approaching Blackfriars as well. And I'm just going to put in just about here. Just like that. Then it goes up to Mansion House and back down to Cannon Street. What I'm going to do is just put Mansion House here. And then Cannon Street just here. It goes back onto the main road. So I just put it to there and have it curve up to Mansion House. Do have it just a slightly better angle like that, and our monument would be here. Just about there, just like that. So that will be Mansion House, that would be Cannon Street, which would be really beneficial after I get this entire series done. Because Cannon Street really only serves the Circle District and a bit of the South Eastern as well, I believe. So until I build the South Eastern, that's when that will actually get like more of a boost in numbers, so it, it should be good. So the next one will be Tower Hill, which is actually up here. I'm just gonna follow this 
road up and then up into there. And next station will be Old Gate and it is just about in this spot here. It isn't too bad. So I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. Let's go tower hill upwards. So it can like curve. And then go in towards Old Gate, which I think would probably be better if I do something like this. And Old Gate East would be around here. So all I'm going to do is just curve it off entirely and just have it go off. Next station here will be Liverpool Street though. So I'm just going to put it around about here I'm just going to build it up like here as well I think I should actually build in Old Gate East right now though I'm gonna put Old Gate East about there so I'm actually gonna put this more like that have this curve up through here because this would be where the uh, Hammersmith and City slime will be so at least that way it won't be as bad and the next station is Moorgate so it's just one across be just here It like that and then Barbican is up here about here it would be and rename that to Barbican and then walk on this line up here just like that could have been a bit better there something like that and next one's Farringdon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this for National Rail and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build it on the side here. Something like this. So I'm going to keep here for the National Rail and then have underneath as the Elizabeth line. We eventually do that. And it curves up into Fangan. And it just goes all the way up to King's Cross which is all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the platform around about here. Have it... Build through up like here. Something like that. Something like that would work. And then next one would be Euston Square which is actually is further down. I don't think it was. It was actually here. Which I didn't think it was. I thought it'd be like by Euston Square Gardens. And uh, next one's Great Portland Street. Which would be just where this little bit here is. Which curves. Something like that will do. So the next one here will be Baker Street. Oh, I can actually make this connect here. How f okay, it still needs to be relatively close. I mean, like, that will work. Just as long as it's one station, I am happy. So I'm just gonna build that across the Bakerloo line, just like that, and get there. And then this is just a one way trip all the way down to Edgware Road, like that. And then we've just done the main circle bit, and now I've got to do after Paddington into Shepherd's Bush side. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to rebuild this part of Paddington. Cause it's not where I want it to be actually. The station itself is more up here I guess. Which won't do much for there. And then 
to like curve it around like this and build it above ground here and then Royal Oak Station would be just here and I'm just going to put this up might have to actually put this underneath here yep and have that go into Royal Oak there so from here the station actually switch sides and then I'm just gonna put this on a viaduct between here because it goes underneath what would be the main line and then pops itself back out here to go to Royal Oak like that so from here it goes straight to Ladbrook Grove which would be right here so I'm just gonna put this back on a viaduct like this and just stick it in and just curve this around make that a little bit better just like that the next station will be Latimer Road which would be just about here and we just follow that just like that and then it goes all the way across here to Wood Lane so just using that just like that to go to Wood Lane and the next station would be Shepherd's Bush Market which is just it so it'd be actually where that marker there is and then just follow it like that and it should Get straight there. Nathan's Gold Hawk Road, which is just here. On the game, well, I know it's not the game's fault here, but I don't understand why Shepherd's Bush Market is here and here, even though it's literally up there. But Google Maps fix your thing. Actually, I think this is by OpenStreetMap, so OpenStreetMap fix your thing. Then from here, it's just a straight line into Hammersmith, just here. So I'm just gonna build it just somewhat like this and then slowly build it up like that and I'm just gonna just delete this little bit there because there's not really any need for that so that's where it doublets but at least when I do the district next episode I can at least put it through here and then have stations all built and next to each other so that's, that's gonna be nice but that is the next episode though so that is the entirety of the circle line built but not yet because we still need to build all blueprints and on screen right now will be a table of how much every line has cost so far and this is 691 million at the minute so we're going to build that and we are going to go over here and we're going to just create a brand new line called circle line so what i'm going to do here is paste in hex code ffd 300 and just stick in the base ticket price as five as I have for literally every single line so far. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I am going to delete this curve and I'm just going to build another Edgeware Road station here and do it just like this, just so when I actually get to doing the actual line itself it's not bad you'll see why in a second so I scrapped the 600 and what million it is now 19.8 on top of that so the actual table will look like this on screen now so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm adding in everything here so we're gonna start with Edgeware Road and just start by going slowly but surely straight down The line here and just going through every single station missed out on Westminster there but we'll just add that back in and then now it's noticed that I want it going a certain way so we just go through and just add every single line here and then it goes into here into Paddington here and go all the way across here over to Hammersmith and we're just going to bounce out of there and go back across the line and now it slots back into Edgeware Road here and it will U-turn back out 
So now we're going to put in the S7 stock here because the S7 stock covers the Circle District and Hammersmith and City lines, I believe, and Metropolitan covers the S8, which we'll be using in a bit. So I'm, firstly, I'm gonna just add in six trains and we'll see it's every 18 minutes, which we need that cut down to six. So we're just gonna add in a few trains, just see how long. And now I am at six minutes 13 every train will pull in so that has been 18 trains in total that are now on this line and i'm just gonna ignore all these trains being our timetable it's just the game being the game and after every update it just breaks somehow but after giving it a bit of time it should fix itself oh i actually forgot to do something here i actually forgot to open the line to passenger service so now all the circle line trains are now in service so we now have officially started circle line here so we've just ticked over midnight well pretty much 1am actually and we've just hit 1.7 million for the day on the circle line actually just outperforming rush slip to epic but it doesn't beat the central line in total though which has 398,000 people use it but that doesn't add to the total of everything because it isn't its full day which we will now simulate just now so now we have just gone through a brand new day Woo, yippee. And we're just about to hit 1am, which means we can now officially cross out as a full day. So, as soon as I press the right button here, we will see on its first official full day, the Circle Line has brought in 356,000 people boarding their trains. But it has brought in 1.6 million in total, barely performing over Rice to Epping, though, just by 29,000. But then again, it was also 29,000 the day before. So I thought it would be less of a contest, really. And we will now add this onto our first day revenue table. And you will just see the circle line actually just fell short of the central line, which I didn't think would happen. Because as you add more stations, there's more coverage that the stations can go. And they don't have just access to these stations, but they have access to all the other lines as well. Which at the Bakerloo line, I thought it'd just be really low because everyone would just want to go to their separate stations. And then the central line boosted it by a lot. And then the circle line as well. But I appreciate everyone watching today. The next video you will see on this channel will probably be Saturday April the 8th which will be a Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough episode 2 and then the next episode of this series will be coming out on April the 11th because from April the 11th every Tuesday will, I will be uploading this series and then same with the Cyberpunk on every Thursday. Press like if you like the video, comment what you think I should do next or just criticisms or suggestions and I will see you all whenever.